This is Violin Guy Golf, and today what we're going to be doing is, this is going to be the first of uh, my hopefully many tutorial videos on golf course design for uh, the Golf Club 2, or TGC2 as we in the biz call it. Um, this is a great time of year, it's one of my favorite times of year. Uh, we got football season starting up, go Bears, we got uh, baseball season wrapping up, Go Cubs. And, uh, you know, I've also got my Blackhawk stuff, you know, so we're about getting ready for that too. So it's just a fall is a great time of year for I love fall. Even though I live in Atlanta, uh, you know, we, we do get a change in, in weather here and we do get leaves changing, which is real pretty. Um, but I do miss New England fall. You know, uh, I used to go to school in, in, in Connecticut and uh, I lived in Chicago, lived in New Jersey, places that have good changes of season. So that aside, today's tutorial is uh, a very basic one and it's going to be starting a new golf course and getting a golf course set up to go. What a lot of people do, and TGC has made this very easy, and I applaud them for making it easy, but it also they've also made it easy for um, substandard golf courses for for boring, you know, we call them we used to call them uh, golf golf course wizard courses uh, back in the Tiger Woods days. Uh, and what they have is, as you can see on the screen, you know, they have this thing where you can. Um, go ahead and, and, and make a golf course and just boom, just go ahead and lay it out and you're done. Um, you know, maybe a few tweaks and boom, you publish it and nobody's going to play it because unfortunately it's boring and it has no personal touch, no, um, you know, no, uh, you know, kind of way of looking that is specifically your design or what have you so uh, let's start from the beginning and this is basically these tutorials are going to be how to set your golf course apart from other golf courses that clog up the catalog at the beginning of the game if you hit play you're going to see five bazillion golf courses most of them look terrible okay and there's two reasons for that the first reason is 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 hb's fault um, this is a great game and hb has done a terrific job but one of the things that is a problem is is that you have uh, an inability to play your golf course while you're designing it with any kind of conditions. You can't play with wind. You can't play with uh, you know with with tournament conditions. Really, okay. So what you have to do, unfortunately, in TGC two is you have to publish your golf course under a name like uh, Tutorial Hills beta or tutorial hills test or test course do not play you're going to see that a lot in the in the thing and you can go ahead and play those golf courses if you want but they're not finished okay and designers have put those golf courses there specifically to uh make it so that sorry there's a guy riding by on a moped out there don't see that all the time anymore uh what what you see a lot is these golf courses and they're just they're not finished but good designers will put these there so that they can play their golf course in wind to make sure that it's fair in the wind okay my last golf course that i just re, uh just published a couple of days ago is called Maestoso golf club and lodge and uh there is a Maestoso test um, that's there. Uh, that golf course is not complete. You know, the planting's not finished. Uh, some of the detail work is not done. So, uh, but, uh, you know, the final, which is Maestoso Golf Club and Lodge, uh, is, is now available. And it, and, it, and it plays pretty tough in the wind, actually. Totally fair. You know, there's no forced carries that you can't do, in, you know, into the wind or stuff like that. And that's really what you're looking for. Um, but these tutorials are going to be for... What's going to set your golf course apart from, you know, the five-minute courses, the guys that come in here and just go boom, boom, boom. Hey, I got 18 holes. We're done. Okay, first thing you got to do is pick a theme. Okay, you have all these cool themes to choose from. Anybody who's been in the game understands this. Okay, and today we're going to pick... Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. Let's pick a theme that I don't have never used, and that's Harvest. 
Okay, so it's going to take a few minutes for the for the uh, designer to populate your land plot with this theme. Okay, and theme choosing themes is, is really important because it sets the tone for your golf course, basically what your golf course is going to look like. Not only does it do that, but it also uh, chooses what your deep rough, what the off course areas are going to look like. Like, for example, okay, let's go back. And so that's harvest, right? So let's go ahead and choose countryside. Countryside is a theme that I am currently using. Actually, no, I'm using Delta. They're kind of similar. Um, but countryside is going to give you a whole different look for your heavy rough. Look underneath there, and it is going to go boom, and it's going to pop in a very light brown, almost sandy. Say, there we are. So um, it's totally different. So let's go back and get our harvest back. And... Uh, Okay, uh, a couple things are going to happen when you start up a new golf course. As you can see right smack dab in the middle, right next to the layout button, uh, is your clubhouse. Okay, and it, it populates your golf course with a clubhouse. You can move it, delete it, do whatever you want to do with it. But um, that's kind of a nice thing, I think, uh, because even though you may not want that clubhouse, you can at least... Boom, you can you have a starting point right there where you can get going. So, all right, let's now move on to terrain. Okay, water level I usually like to keep at zero. And then hills. Your golf course will have hills on it. Even if you set this to zero, your golf course will have some, some smooth hills. Um, some, you know, very small, um, a little bumpy, you know, which I hope you don't always like that so much. So... For this one, I'm going to, you have to click A, I'm going to go ahead and, and move the hills down to like 10. Okay, so it's going to give us a relatively flat land plot here. Now trees, trees is a, a bone of contention a little bit between designers. Um, you know, if you ask 10 golf course designers how they build a golf course, you're going to get 10 different answers. Okay, um, trees is one, you know, do you leave the trees there? Or do you take them all out and plant later? Now, on a golf course that's going to be wooded, like this one, I want trees. So I'm going to bump this up to like 65. And the reason I want the trees is because I'm, I like to design golf courses as if they're being designed in real life. So that means when I get this land, you know, the owner of the land comes to me and says, I want you to build a golf course. I'm going to build a golf course. Here's the land, okay? The land's already got some hills on it, it and it's going to also have some trees. Uh, plants and grass. I'll leave that at 50. Um, it's kind of nice just to have some random bushes and grass here and there. You can delete them. I'll show you how to do that later. Rocks. Rocks are a pain in the butt, man. Uh, get rid of the rocks, okay? You can add rocks later, and rocks look really cool. Okay, so go ahead and hit Apply, and... That should change your terrain very nicely. Hit B to go back, and then we have layout. Okay, now this is where you can say, I want 18 holes, I want this many par 3s, this many par 5s, with green side bunker, all that stuff. Okay, notice I have my number of holes set to zero. I have that on purpose because I don't want any holes here yet. Okay, I'm going to route this golf course the way I want to do it, and that means, okay, that... I've got to start from nothing, okay, just like I would in real life. Fairway width. I'm going to set this to zero also because I don't want any fairways yet. I'm going to make my own fairways. All right, and then fairway bunkers, you have to move to zero because when you do make a fairway, it will populate it with bunkers already, and you don't want that. You want to make your own bunkers. All right, green size. We're going to move our green size down to 10 which is way smaller than you would ever have a green in real life, okay? Most greens are at least 20 yards deep or wide. Um, there are some that are smaller. I mean, you look at a place like Harbor Town, Pebble Beach has tiny greens. Um, you know, greens need to be, I think I said fairways, I didn't mean to say fairways, greens. Greens need to be at least, a, you know, at least 20 by 20 usually is how, is, is the, the rule of thumb. Okay, larger greens need to be for longer shots. So if you have a par 5 that is reachable, say like a 520-yard par 5, golfer's got a second shot of, oh, I don't know, 225 yards. Okay, that green needs to be big enough to accept that long of a shot. Okay, that ball's not going to stop on a dime like a pitching wedge would. Okay, on the other hand, 
If you have a hole that's 390 yards and you're hitting driver and sand wedge, okay, sand wedge is going to stop right next to the hole if you hit it to the hole. It's not going to run through the green unless you're hitting it out of the rough. So let's say, you know, you have a 100-yard second shot, you can have a smaller green. All right, so I'm setting the green size to 10 because again, I'm going to make my own greens later using the brushes, but we're gonna start with 10 so that I know where they are. Green bunkers, you gotta set that to zero. Very important because if you make a green, it's gonna make bunkers. Okay, go ahead and hit apply. Nothing is going to happen because you didn't do anything. Hit back and then continue. Now this takes a little while, okay, this takes Oh, no, it doesn't take a little while at all, actually. It is all the way done. So, okay, we have a golf course, sort of. Okay, we got nothing. We have a land plot with nothing on it except some trees, some lakes. I'm going to go ahead and edit holes. That'll help you move around a little bit. Okay, these lakes can come, go, whatever you want. All right, all you have to do is raise the land over them. So, I don't want this lake, so sculpt land, raise... Use one of the brushes like this that's mostly filled up. That'll give you a nice rounded kind of mound. And then, boop, and water is gone. Yay! So that's pretty much how you do that. Now, um, we're going to make some holes. So where's our clubhouse? Is this our clubhouse here? Yes. Okay, now for sake of brevity, we're going to leave that clubhouse there. Let's get out of this. And we're going to get back to create holes okay so let's zoom in a tad we don't want to put our first tee box on the clubhouse of course again you can move it later and okay we got all these trees here now the only drawback with having a ton of trees is it does kind of obscure your your view of the land now we made this land relatively flat so we're going to go ahead we're going to start this hole here all right we're going to drag this look up top where it says yards to t uh, 277, that's a good spot for a dog leg. Um, 277 is about as far as most guys can hit it uh, without, you know, the aid of wind uh, or terrain. So if it's not super downhill or whatever, if it's just 279 actually is the carry for tour club uh, driver. All right, so let's put our, our first spot there, and then we're going to do a little dog leg left. All right, say 411. Now your hole's not going to be 411 yards long, but so here what we have is we have rough. Okay, that is not fairway, that's rough. And we have a little teeny tiny green. Okay, but you could see where your hole is. All right, which is pretty cool. All right, and then um, if you're playing on, uh, you know, I design on Xbox, you know, I used to design on PC. I should have bought this game on PC, even though my PC probably wouldn't be able to handle it. But, uh, I used to design on PC and you can use a mouse and do some really, 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 um, fine detail work. Um, I'm able to get mostly that same stuff on Xbox. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you on Xbox and on PS4, you can click the right stick, and as you can see up there, that changes. So right now I have one golf hole. That is a par five, really? Huh. No, I want hole one. Oops, did I mess something up? Seriously? Oh, I've got two. Where's my first hole? I don't have two holes. Let me get out of this. Okay. So let's go back here. So again, clicking the right stick, this is hole one, it's 437. The reason it's 437 and not 417, like it says yards to T, is because you have to account for the curve and the dog leg. So um, let's get back to our screen. Now, a lot of people like to hide this, so you can flat out hide the whole thing. Um, I like to have this showing. So, and then you can go and you can go ahead and, and let's make another hole. We got a little lake here, so I want to make a little make a, uh, we got to get back to where it says create, create holes. We're going to make a little par three here. Now I'll put our green right there. That's a buck 82. Now there's your first point. Now if you want a par three, you got to click right on it again. And boom, par three. Okay. Um, you can later then change that water. 
Okay, so um, as I said, basically this video is for getting started and getting started in a way that uh, you could still create a course relatively quickly doing this, but it's just not it's not going to have that flat painted on look that um, you know that the that the courses where you you know if you just start this up and you don't have your default set you know to zero holes like I do, um, you're going to have 18 holes. You're going to have fairways generated, bunkers, greens with bunkers. Okay, you're going to have a little bit of elevation because, of course, you see that there are little small hills here. Okay, you're going to have trees, you're going to have lakes, you're going to have all that stuff, and you could play that golf course as is. Okay, but to discerning players and designers, that golf course is garbage because there's there's nothing to it. There's no elevation work done. You just slapped on some fairways and greens. Maybe you got fancy and put a house somewhere. You know, or like a, you know, uh, maybe you went ahead and 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 put one of the, you know, f funny things on here. Where am I looking? I'm, I'm miscellaneous. You know, hey, let's let's put a windmill. You know, and uh, you know, oh look, I have a cool golf course now. Okay, that's you know. Oh, oh by the way, uh, X button on Xbox and I believe it's square button on PS4 is undo. So you put something down you don't want to do, it's gone. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'm not going to make this too long. All my videos are too long. So uh, we're at about 15 minutes now. Um, but like I said, this is going to separate your golf course from you know, uh, at the risk of offending my younger viewers, a, you know, a kid just gets on here and, you know, poops out a golf course with, you know, with, you know, uh, pre-made, you know, uh, it, it's kind of like the difference between a prefab house, you know, that they deliver to your, to your land and plunk it down there, or a house that they build with a foundation and a basement. Okay, nothing against the prefab houses. Actually, my house is, is it's not a prefab house. It's an older house, but, uh, you know, the floor is not super solid. Um, we don't have a basement. We have a crawl space and, and what have you. But, you know, it's kind of like that. You know, when, when you see a big house on a truck wide load on the highway and they deliver that and they just plunk it down and boom, you live in it. Okay, it's the difference between that and having a custom home built on on land that you created. So... Um, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to continue this series, probably record another two or three of these videos today. Um, always remember, before you do anything, save your work. Okay, you've got to save and save often, especially if you are on console. Because consoles can restart at the blink of an eye. Uh, power can go out. We're bracing for, you know, the leftovers of Hurricane Irma is going to come here. It's going to be a tropical storm. But it's going to, the eye of that storm is literally going to come right over my house in Douglasville, Georgia, which is right outside of Atlanta, a little bit west. And, uh, you know, so we're going to have a little of that. I'm going to be designing and sitting in front of the Xbox while that's going on. Uh, maybe playing Madden with the kids because they probably won't have school on Tuesday. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the power can go out. Xbox can turn on and turn off. PlayStation, all of those game consoles have a tendency to um, blink in and out from time to time. And you will lose everything. Okay, PC, same thing. Save all the time. Just save all the time. Okay, imagine writing a, you know, your thesis paper for, you know, your master's degree and not saving it and having the power go out. Okay, you know, yes, Microsoft Word has a, you know, autosave. This doesn't really have autosave, so you probably want to save. I like to save every time I've done something that takes a long time. So, like rocks and, and flowers takes a long time. Making my fairways takes a long time. We're going to do that in another video. Um, sculpting my greens takes a long time. So, just save all the time. That's all I can tell you. So, I hope again this was helpful. Um, I want everybody who is in Florida right now, I need you guys to hunker down. That storm is coming. It's already made landfall, so... Get yourself somewhere where you're safe. Leave your house. You know, it might be a little too late to leave now. Traffic's got to be awful. But, you know, get somewhere where you're safe. You know, staying in your house isn't worth your life, man. I know, you know, people want to stay in their homes and and deal with, uh, you know, and, tr and try to keep their homes from being damaged more than they're going to be. But, you know, better to lose your house than to lose your life. So, you know, 
definitely do that. Um, anyone in the path of that storm, get to somewhere safe, high ground. You know, anybody who's going to be staying home, make sure there's good drainage around your house. You don't want floods. And, uh, and just stay safe, you know. Um, get some coolers, get some ice in case you lose power for more than a couple of days. And uh, just overall be safe, you know. And there's another one coming right behind it, Jose. So um, it's been a tough hurricane season so far, but we're going to deal with it. And uh, so anyway, Violin Guy signing off here. I hope you guys have a terrific and safe weekend. Be good. I will see you later.